thing. The Tigers' season may be on hold because of the coronavirus, but it's still getting played out with a game every day in Clark and Andrew Zanotti's backyard in Bay City. No, I'm done it! Fourth day, Clark Tigers, number 12, Brandon Dixon. We've kind of been trying to keep up with the uh, actual Tigers' schedule, so... You know, I had to be the New York Yankees all week, which wasn't didn't make me very happy. The Zanatis are big fans of the Tigers, and with five-year-old Clark out of school and Andrew not working because of the pandemic, the Zanatis turned their backyard into a mini replica of Comerica Park. In left field, there's a wall that features the Tigers' retired numbers. In right field, there's K-Line's corner. And in deep center, there's even a Chevy fountain. My kids would leave their toy cars around, so I, I put one up on this tree stump I have, and, and Clark said, hey, that kind of looks like uh, the Chevy fountain. So we set up another one and, and then just started adding elements to, to Comerica Park, trying to, you know, looking at pictures online and seeing what we could do with, with things we've had around the house. Zanotti says his son doesn't take the field until his homework is done. Sometimes there's even a Tigers theme involved with that. Clark is also a walking encyclopedia when it comes to the team's history. He had no problem answering my Tigers trivia questions. Who has the highest batting average in Tigers history? Ty Cobb. Who has the most home runs in Tigers history? Okay, Andrew tells me his son's obsession with the Tigers began last season and really gained steam after a recent family trip to spring training just before the baseball season was put on hold. Reporting for WNEM-TV5, I'm Jason Fielder.